so I finally had a look on the internet to see what's wrong with my eggplant. Um, just, yeah, kind of getting funny spots on the leaves, like the loss of the colour of the, the chlorophyll. And I thought maybe it was a fungus or something like that, but it is these little things here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Those little red dots there are spider mites and they suck the chlorophyll out of your leaves. Now I had a, got a really bad plague of them, they're everywhere. We had some really good rain last night which has washed them all off the top so I'm just going to go around and squash the ones that I can find under the bottom. So a little bit more about these spider mites. They, one of the things that they do they form a little web. You can see the dewdrops, that's actually a web that is protecting the spider mites and so a lot of the insecticides don't work on them because they don't actually get in contact with them because of this protective webbing. Um, so yeah, I've, I've never tried treating them before. What I read about was um, using high pressure water for a few days and then um, you can spray them with something like neem oil. Um, another thing that you can get is to get predator mite a bit too close. See that black dot there? I think that might be one of the, the predator mites. So um, He's eating them but definitely don't have enough predator mites. Um, yeah, I didn't read anything about squishing them like this so I don't know if I'm going to damage the leaves or not. Um, but I'm not too worried about these eggplants that are in the garden. They kind of finished their, their time anyway. So I'm giving it a go and we'll see what the result is. So I'm going to squish them like this today and then maybe tomorrow morning or in the afternoon I'll give them a spray with some neem oil and um, see if that helps. Hey guys, this is the eggplants that I've got really bad spider mite infestation on. I have tried spraying them with a neem oil spray. Uh, we'll just let it focus. There we go. You can see the spider mites are still there and still active. So. What I'm doing now is I'm cutting back anything that's pretty badly damaged um, in any areas of the plant that I don't particularly want growing anyway. And then I'm going to spray it again. This time I've got a hand spray bottle so that I can really get up underneath, um, underneath the leaves there and spray the spider bites and see if we can get rid of them this time. I, this is the area where I discovered that um, the spider mites are also on mum's roses and on the weeds in the area so I had to pull everything out and I'm going to give a really good spray with the other sprayer on all the mulch and everything around as well just to kill any mites that have dropped off there and we'll see how it goes. I just thought I'd show you exactly what I'm doing on this eggplant, um, how I'm pruning it back and uh, getting rid of the mites. So basically I just first go through and take out any obvious things, uh, ones like this that are dead um, or the older branches from last year that don't have much growth happening like this one here doesn't have a lot on it. Um, I'm just going to take that off here and put that in my bag. I've got here a black rubbish bag to put all anything I'm cutting off on because I don't want the spider mites travelling to any other part of the garden. So that's just 
So this here, not much on it, nothing really happening growth wise. I'd rather cut it back to something that's got some good growth on it. So cut it off about there for now. And we'll cut off more a bit later. See they're just you know very tiny leaves, not very good growth at all. And I don't want to squash mites and stuff that I don't need to. This leaf here, how much healthier, stronger, new fresh growth. So that one there is one that I'm going to be going to keep this one here. Also taking into consideration where I'm wanting the plant to grow, what areas that I'm wanting it to fill out so that I will take those, or well, leave those ones in preference of other ones that are growing in position that I don't particularly want them. I'm also cutting off any of the lower leaves that are covered with mites. And any leaves like this that are badly damaged. I wanted to show you the spider mites even seem to be on this particular grass that was growing out of one of the pots. Let me see if I can get the focus there. It's a bit hard to focus with the wind. Okay, there we go. So you can see all the, the white spots and when you turn it over you can see the brown on the back, but they seem yeah a different colour. different colour to the ones that I've got on the eggplants, whether it's just from the different food that they're eating, but I'm chucking it away just in case. So here we go, we've just got the one eggplant left now. Thankfully my comfrey bushes underneath haven't been affected, but I'm going to have to give them a good spray for any mites that have fallen off. So going to cut this one right back and hopefully that will be the end of my mite infestation. I'm really not sure where to start with this one. It's um, really heavily infested. infested. All the leaves are like that, just absolutely covered in Blow the mic. Something upset everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how we'll go with this one, but we'll try and leave some healthy leaves on it. I'm just hoping that I'm not cutting back too many leaves um, and that the plant will die afterwards. So I'll have to give it a really good water and hope good feed and hope it springs back. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for the pruning. It's pretty heavily pruned back. There's still plenty of pretty bad looking leaves um, but I'm just going to have to try and kill as much as I can because otherwise it will be completely bare. So now we'll get to the squishing and the spraying. Get rid of them. Okay, catch you.